Hey everybody, it's Daniel here from Mobile Syrup, and we're here with Chris from HGC. He's going to take us through the uh, brand new HGC One. So, uh, what's great about this? So this uh, this experience right here is our new home screen. So we're calling this Blink Feed, uh, and what you're really able to do is get all of the information that matters most to you, whether it be a social network, a news site, uh, if you want ESPN, whatever that may be, is going to get filtered here right into your uh, home screen. So I can sort through what matters most to me through the highlights. So I have ESPN, I have my Facebook posts on here. All of this information is right on your home screen. If I want to click into a particular article, I click into it and I can uh, instantly read that entire article. It doesn't take me to another website. It's actually built into the operating system here, so I never have to leave that home screen. It's a really great experience uh, as far as being quick and fast and gets you the information that you're really uh, wanting at that moment. So I can also change by highlight view. Uh, maybe I just want to look at ESPN. I can see all of my ESPN updates come here instantly on my phone. So that's the basic concept uh, concept of Blink Feed. Uh, really great experience if you uh, you know want to go to your normal operating system uh, as far as Sense. You can just scroll to the uh, right over here and you'll see uh, a more familiar look uh, on the uh, on the device here. Okay, so how do you access the multitasking menu from this new phone? So multitasking, since we've uh, kind of cut down on the buttons, we made it an easier experience for customers. Uh, we have a back button and we also have the home button. So if I double tap the uh, home button, it's going to take me to multitasking, where I can just swipe away what I currently have open on my device. Easy as that, very simple uh, experience. If I just hit home, it's going to take me back to my home screen. Now if I press and hold, that's also going to give me instant access to Google Now. And this is running Jelly Bean? It is running Jelly Bean uh, 4.1.2. So can we take a look uh, at the uh, app drawer for me? Sure, let me open up the app drawer and you can actually change the grid view so I can have it uh, a 3x3 three three, or else I can also change this uh, if I want to go into my settings here and I can change the grid size so I can actually also have it a 4x5. That's great, and so it's, it's vertical now, it's uh, no longer uh, horizontal. Correct, vertical and we uh, also have give you the option of making it custom so you can create folders within the app drawer now to really condense down on how many apps you have in here, it makes it easier to to see less clutter. Right. So uh, can we take a look through the uh, device itself just to kind of go around the physical hardware of the device? Sure. Uh, if you turn it sideways you'll see that it's very tapered on the sides here. Uh, only about four millimeters uh, in size here on the uh, on the side view. Uh, it only gets to as large as about nine millimeters in the very back but it feels good in your hand because it's uh, very rounded uh, and it just fits in your palm very nicely. Uh, and as you go up here on the top you have your headphone jack as well as the infrared um, infrared button on the uh, uh, power button as well. So it's combined into one. Uh, and as we go on the side here, nice clean uh, clean look here. You have the uh, SIM card slot and then as we go on the bottom, this is where you're going to get your power source. And uh, what's, uh, what's the size of the screen? The screen is a 4.7 uh, full HD 1080p display. 468 pixels per inch. That's beautiful. And uh, go over some of the, the new features in, in terms of uh, sound and in uh, camera as well. Sure, so as far as sound quality, obviously you see out here on the uh, top and bottom of the device you have uh, dual frontal speakers. Uh, so we've really gone through and uh, done some tests and we've said that you know, the sound experience on phones haven't been that great because the speakers are on the back and when you're listening to something, especially with friends, you need that, uh, you need that sound experience to be facing you. So we've created those two speakers built in with uh, Beats Audio. Uh, it does have an amp powering those as well, so it's a great sound experience. Uh, if you go into uh, the music app that we have on here, uh, I can go into my media, and if I go into music, and if I start playing a song on here, so there you go, and if I also hit uh, that button up there on the top, it's going to get me to uh, instant lyrics on the device, so it's going to actually go uh, with along with the song, so if you're into karaoke, you just want to sing along with whatever is being played, you have the ability of doing so, and that's powered through Grace Note. Okay, uh, so that's that's actually really beautiful. Can we go over the camera features as well? Sure. So uh, with this device, we've uh, introduced the Ultra Pixel. Uh, and what that gives me is 300% uh, a brighter image. So it's a lot more light coming into the device. It's going to be a lot more clear and it's going to be better for low light uh, performance as far as taking pictures. So if I go into the camera, 
you'll see that it's automatically selected to do a Zoe. And Zoe is our, our new way of interacting photos and, and videos kind of to, uh, combined into one, where you can actually create, uh, the device will actually create uh, a movie or a highlight reel uh, based on all the Zoe's that you have on a particular event. So if I start recording here, what it does, it takes one second before I hit the camera button and then two seconds after. So that creates uh, up to 20 uh, still images that create that Zoe. So then if I want to go ahead and play this Zoe back, I can just go back here and it's going to instantly start playing that back. So now really the cool thing is when you go and incorporate this into your gallery, so let's say I want to go into my photos here in the gallery and I want to click on this day's event. So I have multiple uh, pictures in here and there's a highlight reel so it'll incorporate all those pictures up here. If I press into it, it's going to show me that highlight reel of the different things that I've taken. And it also uh, incorporates sound in there as well. And this is something that's automatically done. The user does not have to uh, have to do anything on their, uh, you know, out of the ordinary, out of their own. It's automatically done very simple and easy and clean. And uh, can we go over some of the specs of the phone? Sure. Uh, so as far as the screen, obviously we said it's 4.7 full 1080p display. Uh, it does have uh, either 32 or 64 gigs of internal memory built in, uh, 2 gigs of RAM, uh, and then it's also the new uh, Qualcomm 600. Uh, quad core processor clocked at 1.7 gigahertz. So that's up to 40% faster than the Snapdragon Pro S4? Correct, and it's also a lot more efficient too, so you're going to see great battery life uh, along with this 2300 milliamp battery that's packed into this device. And that should last all day? It should definitely last all day. Uh, I think everyone's going to be pleasantly surprised with how great the battery life is on this device. And just to go over one of the last features that we saw, uh, Sense TV. How does, that, sure. uh, how does that play into the device? So if I go into Sense TV here, uh, you'll see it's a very clean, uh, a clean interface on the remote. So this is the remote that can control basically a, a receiver, a, a set-top box, or your television. So I was staying in a hotel and I programmed it to uh, the hotel uh, TV there and I was able to change the channel. I can adjust the volume. Uh, I can mute the television if I wanted to, and I also have access to the menu. Uh, so that's as far as the remote. But let's say you're at home and you have uh, a cable service uh, like you know, a Comcast or whatever it may be. You can select your favorite shows, and it'll notify you when they're playing, what's on on the current date. And if I just press on one of those images there, it's going to take me right to that show, uh, and you don't have to mess around with the guide on your television. Also, you'll see there's a little blue bar there. That's to show the progress of the show. So if uh, you know maybe Sports Center, it's a new episode, but it's just starting, so maybe I want to go to that, or else there, uh, you know, there may be one that's towards the end, and I may not want to uh, go to that, uh, go to that show. So it's really intuitive, easy to use, and it really is a great experience. This will also incorporate itself into Blinkfeed. So when you're looking at Blinkfeed, it'll say, "Hey, maybe how I met your mother's on tonight," because that's one of my favorite uh, shows, and you can uh, you can easily get access to that from Blinkfeed. All right. So this has been a uh, very very quick look at the brand new H. HTC One coming to Canada in March. Thanks so much, Chris. Thank you very much.